Our next method on how to add vectors together, our next graphical method, I should say, is called the tip-to-tail method. So here you notice that we have vector A and vector B. We're supposed to add them together and get the resultant vector R. But they both have their tails together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your two vectors and move it so that the tail of the one vector is at the tip of the other vector. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move vector A over to the right. Of course, what I cannot do is I cannot change the direction of the vector and I cannot change the magnitude or the length of that vector. As long as I keep those two the same, I have no change at all in my problem here. So I move this over, put it right there, and I redraw the vector over here. Notice it has the same direction and the same length. Now, the resultant vector will be the vector I draw when I start from the tail of the first one to the tip of the last one. And let me mark this one down. This is still vector A, the exact same vector I had before, simply moved over. And so now I'm going to draw my line from the tail of the first vector B to the tip of the second vector A. So, and this now becomes the sum of A plus B, which of course can now be written as the resultant vector. And that's another way in which you can add, vect add vectors together. Now that's kind of a neat method because what if you have three vectors or four vectors? Let's say we have vector A in this direction right there. Let's say we have vector uh, B in this direction. And let's say we have vector C in this direction. And now you want to add those three together and find the sum of the vectors or the result of the vectors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave vector A alone, take vector B and move it over here. So this now becomes my vector B moved into new position. I'm now going to take vector C and move it over here. My vector C and now I can draw a single line from the start or the tail of vector A to the tip of vector C. like so, and this is my resultant vector which is simply the sum of A, vector A plus vector B plus vector C. So notice that tip to tail method is a pretty handy method, especially if I have more than two vectors. Simply keep moving them around, move the tail of the second vector to the tip of the first, the tail of the third vector to the tip of the second, the tail of the fourth vector to the tip of the third, and so forth, and that's how you graphically add vectors together, as long as you don't change the direction or the magnitude of any of the vectors.